Hey crafty friends! Today I am sharing a 12 by 12 made with this cut file which is called Garden Mandala which I designed for Pretty My Page. So hashtag ad, this is advertising, um, because I'd like you to buy my cut file. <laughs> um, so what have we done? We have cut three of the same cut file from white cardstock and I'm using matte accents to stack them together. Now, learn from my mistakes if you try this. Use matte accents, not Tombow Mono Multi, because Tombow Mono Multi stays tacky. Um, I was finding it was picking up all sorts of uh, dust and feathers. <laughs> okay, you probably don't have the feather problem. Um, where it splurged out the sides where as I was stacking uh, it stayed a bit tacky and that was not good so matte accents is the way to go I've then cut out and glued behind some pieces um, so as you would normally back a cut file but I've only backed some of the pieces and I'm now using that depth of three cut files as a well to fill with glossy accents and you get this really cool effect, it looks like a stained glass window. Um, I'm just using a pin to pop all the bubbles and make sure that the glossy accents fills the entire well. And yeah, I was really pleased with how this turned out. It looks amazing. So I'm going to speed through that so you can see. I've kept the whole process in, but yeah, super sped up. So I'll let you watch that. I'll be back to waffle at you a bit more in a bit. To top that off, I've cut the same cut file in black. Um, it could have left it white, but I think the black on top gave it a bit of a wow factor and maybe echoes the leading that a uh, real stained glass window would have. Again I'm using matte accents to adhere that. And that is the main element of my layout. Uh, I've marked the centre of my 12 by 12 and I've popped that down centrally and then I'm just using my little rubber to get into that centre bit to um, erase my pencil mark. I did want to get it dead centre. I think with a circle being slightly off, it would show. This little photo I'm using is of my dad as a child. And I'm going to try and repeat all of the colours that I've used so far. So the deep red, the orange, the yolky yellow and the green. Uh, I can't use the same uh, cardstock that I used before because when I've put glossy accents over the top, it's sort of uh, deepened and richened. Richened? That doesn't make sense. Made the colour richer. So I've had to get more cardstock out um, to find a match for that red. It's a, a darker shade. And popping that there, I've pulled out some, some things that match that I might want to use. And I faff around quite a lot trying to get it right. The cut file takes up so much of the page and is the main element. I didn't want to add uh, things in the photo cluster that detracted from the cut file. But also, I want to draw attention to the photo because that is the, the main... That's the whole point of scrapbooking, the photo. Or in this case, anyway. Um, so I'm trying a few things down there seeing if I can get it right, don't like them, they come off. In the end, I go for a gold tag with Hello Friend. Now the gold is a new colour, but it maybe echoes the yolky colour that the sun has turned. I'm adding some green thread, which matches the leaves. A little bit of a red tag. Actually, that might change. I think I changed that to a yellow tag. Uh, 
um, I've got a puffy heart and then I, I pull out my trusty enamel dots because if all else fails, try enamel dots. I've, I uh, seem to collect enamel dots in every colour. Apart from blues, I don't have enough blue enamel dots. If you know of a good pack of blue enamel dots, let me know. But yes, I do manage to find um, enamel dots to match my colours pretty much spot on. So we go with that. And there we go, done. Um, I don't know if the sh photos show it off to its best. It does look really cool, really like stained glass. And I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Thank you very much for watching. Do check out Pretty My Page. Um, I can probably say exciting things coming soon, so watch out. See you soon, bye.